thing called animal agriculture. That okay. is what our dairy and meat industry right. is today. Right. And like how animals are bred and there's an industry. So that, mm. and that breeding is called animal agriculture. It's a whole you know industry. Mm. And he used to do a lot of research and he started researching and he was like, okay, like this, why is this Greenpeace or the World Wild, World Wildlife Fund or whatever the WWF, yeah. these guys, or all the top people who are fighting for, you know, pollution and all of this, not talking about animal agriculture mm. at all. Like, why is everyone just talking about, you know, stop using a car, use public transport, stop using this, you know, like stop using, uh, like, buy, you know, don't waste water or uh, uh, switch off the lights, mm. you're wasting electricity. Why is no one talking about this, which is so much more than everything, what they are talking about? Because there are billions of dollars in Yeah, because <laughs> all the people who are actually funding these organizations mm. are, you know, people like a KFC right. or a McDonald's and yeah. all of that. So they don't want, if you go to the cancer website, you'll have like recipes and in the recipe you'll have like meat and all of that. Yeah. So it's like when they know that that meat is causing cancer, why are they still having it? So he did a lot of research over this whole thing hmm. and he made a documentary called Cowspiracy. Okay. So basically Cowspiracy talks about the environmental aspect of animal agriculture and there are real cool facts in this. Uh, you know, uh, you can, uh, by turning vegan, you can actually save about 30 animals annually, like every year. If a single animals. person turns Yeah, if vegan. a single person turns vegan. Hmm. And uh, he, so if you see the movie, he talks a lot about the environmental and the carbon footprint. Right. By turning vegan, you, your own footprint can be reduced by like literally half. Okay. And these are facts by from the movie itself. Right. What, I, what I wanted to share because there are people who, there are a lot of aspects like why someone wants to turn vegan. Not everyone is hmm. pro-animal. Hmm. They may be like, you know, environmentalist or they may be like for health or fitness or whatever. So hmm. these are facts that they should know. And also... If you turn vegan, you are saving 1100 gallons of water every day. Mm. Because from the time an animal is taken, yeah. it, is, you know, it comes into existence till it is going to meet and the process, the amount of water that we waste mm. is like a lot. So by turning vegan, like 1100 gallons of water, I don't know the conversion of gallons to liter. One gallon is 4 liters, I guess. Uh, so 4400 we'll liters. Do the maths, yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> And yeah, so you know, you 1100. Yeah, 1100 gallons. Oh, that's 4,176. That's a lot of water. Yeah. That's a lot of water. Per day. Yeah. Okay. And you must have heard of world hunger. That's a big, like a big issue huh. that is happening yeah. in African countries. That is happening because the uh, crop that they grow, like the corn and stuff, Countries like in the West, they take that whole thing and they feed it to animals. Yeah, they're green fed. Most they're of green fed. Corn most fed. Of Not even green, they're yeah, corn, fed. Corn, fed. corn fed. That corn, that grain, which if we save up to 40, you can, you know, you can save up to 45 pounds of that grain every day. Okay. And that, if you do the maths, can help almost like 795 million people who don't have enough food to eat. Right. So the world hunger can actually be eradicated if that fodder, if they're actually feeding an animal. But even that fodder is GMO, right? You know that, right? It is GMO. Yeah. That there is controversy <laughs> yeah. there also. But you know. But yeah, I, a step, hunger, a step you know, taken. Yeah. What you're not getting at all to eat, maybe <laughs> something better than you know dying of hunger. It makes sense. You know, yes. like when you're hungry, you're not going to look at GMO, GMO or a yeah. No, there are right. people dying of starvation. Yeah. And it and that movie, if you see now, you'll really see and you'll be like. Literally shocked, like, how do we, like, ignore such stuff, you know, like, how? <laughs> Even, yeah, for uh, cow's milk, it takes 880 gallons of, of water. water. 880. Okay. And uh, one pound of beef hmm. takes 1800 gallons of water. Right. So, you just do the maths, like, what all we are wasting. Hmm. Water, land. And uh, what, water. Uh, so, there is... Uh, an industry which mm. is against all these mm. facts. Mm. So, w what counters do they produce? Uh, have Have you ever experienced or have you ever seen a documentary where they say 
to do this mm. or just, as i mentioned tofu and people have started turning against agriculture as well that mm. doesn't make mm. sense to mm. me people mm. are saying agriculture mm. destroys the uh, whatever mm. Mm. but in a country like india you can't feed a billion people without agriculture right you that can't. we yeah. are an agrarian economy yeah. Yeah. so yeah. <laughs> that's ridiculous yeah. just like i don't believe in when people say we weren't meant to eat meat mm. i simply don't agree that agriculture is not the right thing there mm. i consider both these sides stupid mm. Mm. so have you ever faced such you know heat or arguments or counters that okay this much tofu uh, destroys this much land this much blah blah but you blah. have to see i i've never actually uh, reached this day mm-hmm. like tofu versus that was just an know, example okay? yeah, yeah no i'm not really <laughs> but since you're saying if you just do the maths right like yeah what? it's like huge have, that, yeah. yeah the difference is like un, like you can't even like compare, you can't argue with the facts i okay, maybe i'm true. not well versed with the facts but as, right now as i've heard yeah. yeah it makes all the sense to me no it's like you just see i'm pretty sure i don't think tofu takes so much of water like, <laughs> seriously like 1800 gallons of water i'm pretty sure it doesn't like cow's milk takes like 880 gallons yeah. and one dozen of like takes like 640 gallons like literally mm. so i'm not pretty sure like tofu takes so much so i need to actually read. and also cow poop methane okay. is like the largest greenhouse contributor it is yeah and 18% animal agriculture is like 18% of the greenhouse emissions are more than combined of all modes of transportation. Hmm. Animal agriculture is hmm. contributing 18%. And they'll always tell you, you know, like, uh, use less vehicle, hmm. go in cycle, go use public transportation. But this figure, they'll never tell you, this animal agriculture. 18% is a huge number. Hmm. And they're talking about everything else. So these are things which... Now it is coming out because people are turning vegan, yeah. they are understanding and now the awareness is like, the knowledge available is much more and mm. people are able to take that decision. So, now hopefully things will change and livestock covers like 45% of the earth's total land. Mm-hmm. 45. If, if I'm not wrong, cowspiracy made, they talk like for rearing 10 cows, it's like as big as one football ground or something and okay. the deforestation that's happening in amazon is mm-hmm. because of this like a major reason is animal agriculture so mm-hmm. we're cutting down forests so that more number of uh, animal you know animal farms can mm-hmm. be like uh, whatever installed or whatever like what do you call, i don't know what i'm pretty sure like west is like really doing very well i'm mm-hmm. pretty sure it'll trickle down and come to us too soon and right. with people like us doing activism pretty sure that it will somehow shake and wake the consciousness of people so if not maybe in like next one or two years but at least next 10 years yeah there is going to be a, a shift, shift yes a big shift yeah.